wrong to recommend the stock a year ago, it's possible that the time could now be right for Briggs & Stratton. The company benefits from rebound in housing. They started to ramp up their new product innovation, and they've got a nice restructuring going that could cut a decent amount of costs. Plus, Briggs & Stratton is also taking out capacity in their engine, engine business in order to cut down on bloated inventories, a painful move, one that had to be taken. So let's check in with Todd Tesk. He's the chairman and CEO of Briggs & Stratton. Get a better sense of where his company is going and what's going on. Todd, welcome to Mad Money. Great to be here, Jim. Thanks. Okay, uh, I know I got it wrong. I had thought that you would be more levered to storms, but the storms were more levered actually to snowstorms, to snow blowers, and your other businesses are, are very much levered to, to housing and to the uh, lawn and garden season. So I've got to ask you, are things not better now than they were last year when I was way too focused on big storms? Well, obviously, Jim, the storms do help. Obviously, we, we sell an awful lot of portable generators. We're also in the standby generator business. So it is helpful to the business. However, when you go back a year, we were coming out of the drought. And so basically, the lawn and garden market um, you know, just hadn't recovered uh, through the housing situation. So now with housing being uh, improving, and we are seeing the improvement in housing, last year the market was up anywhere from 3 to almost 9%, depending on the category. And so as we kind of go into this upcoming season, uh, we're hoping, obviously, we're hoping that it, it snows so we can sell some snow throwers. But then also, as we get into the lawn and garden season, I'm, I'm pretty excited about the, what's coming up because we are seeing the impact of housing. Now, you also uh, have taught me and through your excellent presentations that there is a level of innovation in this business that can move the needle. Are you really able to come up with something better than the other guys that people might say, you know what, I want to get that Briggs & Stratton product and not the other guys? I mean, is it that different, really? Well, Jim, it is, and, and what I would encourage you to do as we get to the upcoming season in the spring, there's a number of things we have coming out. Obviously, on our product side of the business, we have over 40 new models of things coming out. We have uh, what you'll find is the quietest lawnmower that's been in the market uh, maybe forever, other than maybe a push uh, manual reel mower. Um, and so when you look at it, there are a number of things that we're coming out with, and we, we really do believe in it. The last two years have been all about innovation. User-driven problem-solving is really where we're at, and you're going to start to see the impact of that. You saw it last year, but we, we saw the impact of the drought as we were coming out of the drought last year and inventory's coming down. You're going to see even more of it for the upcoming season. But a lot of what you sell is actually under other companies' names. Like, how will we know that it's yours to know that it's better? Well, you remember our, the, all of our engines that we make, we obviously have the Briggs & Stratton logo on them. So what you'll see is Briggs & Stratton on the piece of equipment itself with, with regards to the engine. Plus what you'll see coming out for this upcoming season, uh, we've got some new, what I think is some of the best pressure washer technology out there. It will be under the Briggs & Stratton name. And will the salespeople be uh, ex efficient enough to be able to explain the difference between the two? Yeah, I think so. Um, and maybe it's a lot less about the people on the floor, but it's all about digital marketing and being on the web. And so when you, when you look at where we're headed with a lot of this, it's the website, it's getting videos out on the website, it's getting videos out on YouTube. And really, shoppers today, they, they do an awful lot of research on the web. We want to show it to them as, we, as they go out and do their research. Well, wait a second. So in other words, like, like Briggs & Stratton's using Facebook or, or Twitter? What, how do I connect? Or is it just I go to your website or an Amazon? How does it work? Well, no, when you look at it, we are using the things you talked about. We, we're using Facebook. We use Twitter. Uh, we use YouTube. We have our own website. And so, yeah, it's all of the above. And we've spent more money the last few years with regards to uh, websites and digital marketing. And so we think that's going to pay off for us come springtime. And then finally, I know you had that over inventory position. That's now gone, right? You were saying in your documents that the inventories are now good, so it wouldn't seem to be a lot of discount ahead because no one's got a bloated situation on hand. Yeah, you know what we found, Jim, coming out of the drought of 2012 is that the inventories were a little higher level than, uh, than we, we wanted them to be or the, the industry wanted them to be. That kind of worked its way through early on last year. Uh, into the season and what we saw later in the season was some pretty good sell through. That's ultimately what caused the market to be up and that's why we think inventories are in pretty good shape coming into the upcoming season. Well, Jesus, you know, I wish I, I wish I said all those good things about you now because you're so much cheaper than Generac is, but it's really not the right analog. The right analog and the right thing to follow is housing and weather, which is tough to gauge, but if inventories are, are, are lean, you guys are going to make a ton of money. Todd Teske, thank you so much for coming on Mad Money. Great to be here. Thanks, Jim.
All right, guys, I always like to say when I get it wrong because that gives me the credibility to say if I got it right. I was wrong earlier to recommend this stock because I didn't understand the inventory situation and I didn't understand the drought. Those things are now behind it. The new product is ahead of it. And I think Todd Teske at Briggs & Stratton has a darn good story. Stay with Craven. Sir. I'll get it together. I promise. <laughs> Ronnie, how happy are folks who save hundreds of dollars switching to Geico? I'd say happier than the Pillsbury Doughboy on his way to a baking convention. Get happy. Get Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. If you can clear a crowd, but not your nasal congestion, you may be muddling through allergies. Try Zyrtec D, powerful relief of nasal congestion.